What's happening, Kevin? This your boy, CB Hunts. And look what just showed up on my doorstep today. We got here the Mattel's Masters of the Universe New Eternia's uh, Beast Man. Man, I've been waiting for this bad boy for a while. Finally got it in hand. I'm kind of excited. I want to get this out the box and see what all it, it can do, how it looks. In, in, in my hand and then so let's take this bad boy in the house and see what he's all about And now we got this bad boy in the house, man. Like I said before, I love this type of packaging that the Mattel has for these new figures. And you can see this all, all new line. It's from the new line. Uh, uh, ooh, Eternia. So, this is here more of the Beast Man, more of his, his, his classic look. But kind of like, just kind of like altered a little bit, I guess. So, you see him in front of packages. You see what all that comes with here. Other side of the package. We got his name. Everything here. Other side, got a nice artwork of Beast Man. As you can see, how it looked in the actual show. And on the back of the box, showing everybody that's in the that's uh in this wave. And he also has a bio, so if you wanna read it, pause it. There it goes. But trust me. I want to get this bad boy out the box now, so we will see what to do with a beast man. And now we got this bad boy out the box. Man, I gotta say, I don't know if it was the probably a a, a factory uh, fall on mine because something was kind of a little off but I'll talk about that a little bit later but other than that I love the way the figure looks and all it comes with but like I said I'll talk about the, the uh, figure a little bit later first now we're going to talk about everything it comes with and with Beast it comes with uh, like two uh, sets of hands the hands you see they already got on there and these two hands here that holds all the stuff that he has right now. As you can see, right here. Up next with Beast is his bull whip. The type of handle he has. It's almost like the other one that it comes with, but I, I do not have to have the, uh, the other Beast. He is coming though, but you don't have this. I don't have the other one right now. But you got the strings. You see, that's what I kind of liked. This was what I was kind of hoping for, like on a tiger. But the string does be like, like actually like, like this is. But the string on that tiger was just such horrible. I don't know. It was just, it was just weird. Yeah, but this string here is, is a lot. Is a lot um, better than that one. Handle. Quite nice. And now, the Beast it also comes with the club. And the club got little spikes on it, as you can see. They're not too sharp, but it still can easily hurt if you don't. Just drop it to catch it like 
like uh I'm like okay a small bit but still uh, plastic I like the way that the handle looks you can see got that extra of the the actual wood here it goes right here and now is the harness of the more of the how you say classic um the beast man so it got the old school stuff like that it got the old hair without, without having this much on them as you can see so this more of the uh well the uh the classic toy look i might have this on my sh sh shelf or i might have this one. i i like i don't really know oh yet but i do like how this looks though looking quite nice so we're gonna talk about the main man himself East man. Now, just want to show off his head sculpt here. Not the head sculpt, but like his mask. So I want to get that off of him so I can really show his face. So put him back. As you can see, got the little head piece here. Teeth with the eyes, very straight over. Got the, got the little bone going all the way back. Ooh, look at this. You can see the pieces on this side here that goes like over his head. So now, we're gonna talk about the main man himself. Beast Man. Now, I do like the face, still look like the how he looked in the, the on the, the actual show. So the spikes, you can see in the skull. Probably might want to add some, add some like black in the eyes. I'm trying to show like a little bit more in depth because it just like looking like that just looks a little weird. We got the harness going over him. Around the belt going around. Piece of harness where it kind of like tacks into right there. I think this is the piece that holds it back or his whip. I don't really know just yet. But the steel piece going on the back. And you can tell, just like uh, King. Uh, I can't say his name, I just put his name here. They both have that, that fur. So I think this is the same fur from off of that one, but they just had it more red. But it looks nice on the figure. Looks a little different, but I'm not into all this stuff. This might start start like coming off and like falling off. But I might before I put it on my shelf, I might end up changing it a little bit. But you also see his his a tunic. You can see here, he has an extra piece that goes over. You can see the top of top of the. Uh, the patterns as on it, got that blue, so the old school look, and the beast it comes with these, these like, these like gauntlets and arm bands, as you can see right here. Fits over the arm, does not, does not hold down as tight. You need to move the arm around. Knees here, just a, just like, just like a little bit loose, but it, but it's okay. This one here is like a little, little bit bigger. Like I said, it's kind of loose. And the same thing with his arm pad up here. He got some more on his knees and shin. But like I was saying about the uh, imperfection on mine, I think they got the, the side of his side of his uh, feet on the wrong on the wrong foot. I think. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not for sure, because the way how it feels, feel like this here, this feet should be on this side, this feet should be on that side, but I could be wrong, but like that little toes, um, the feet, things like that. So it, it looks nice for for the type of figure you guys got the little this fur texture. You can see 
going in there it could have figured it was very very detailed but saying all that we're gonna go with his articulation he look his head up extremely well as you can see camera to look down got a little got a tiny little bit of head tilt but not much so you can raise his arms up that high does has a bicep swivel a double elbows into the wrist Got a little ab crunch, but this piece blocks it, most of it. So he can really go back, far and forward. For up, he can do that. He got an ab crunch, but this piece here blocks it, most of it. Does have a waist twist a little bit. You can see, doesn't split that much. Kick forward that much. Kick back a little bit. Does has double knees. Got no shin. You got a shin twist, it's that cut, feet can go back that far, feet for that much, does have ankle rocker, so this beast, I'm kind of glad to have him, my collection, so I better hold him with everybody else. Now as part of that review, you can see other figures standing next to him, the beast man. First is I stack up next to the Master of the Universe or Revelations Triclops. I really do like this figure. Just like certain ones in the collection, I'm gonna have to get yeah, like like two of these because I need one him and his in his uh is a is a classic outfit and the one with more of his high priestess outfit as well so hopefully soon I'll be able to get a chance to get him once he goes on clearance up next this is how you stack up next to Master of the Universe Revelations Trap Jaw now I really do like this figure out of all the looks that they have I really do like this one the uh, the, the uh, most out of all of them because he fixed more of the also classic, but just more of a, a little bit more of a up-to-date look. Like I said, I need two of him and two of uh, Cyclops to have me in their in their alternate outfits. And last but not least, this is a stack up next to the Massive Universe Revelations Evil Lynn. Speaking of classic outfits, I hopefully a hopeful that they make her classic outfit as well. I do like this suit, but I wouldn't mind having her having a classic as well. So it's just, just, just the same way how we got the healer and her outfit from the newer part of the show and part of the whole and a classic as well. So hopefully sooner or later today that we also get evil limbs too. And this was my review of the Mattel's Master of the Universe New Returnians Beast Man. Hope y'all enjoyed this review. Trust me, your boy had a fun time making it. And you know, with every review, I will take pictures. This is my Instagram right here. I will link links down below. You go and check those out. And your boy's on TikTok. While I take those same pictures, I'll post them over there. I'll like just add a little bit of flair. This is your boy, CB Hunts. Hope you have a blessed one. So trust me. I can catch you in that next one.